Compression molding was one of the first processes used by the plastics industry, and it is still commonly utilized to make articles from thermoset materials. A pre-mixed thermoset material is being cut off and weighed to provide the exact charge needed to produce the part. The charge is placed directly into the mold, which has been heated to temperatures between 300 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. As the mold halves are forced together by the press, the plastic flows into the recesses of the cavity. Since the plastic material is thermosetting, the heat and pressure cause an irreversible chemical change in the plastic which solidifies the part. The plastic won't soften, so the mold needn't be cooled. This particular mold is for microwave oven trays, after a short interval, the press is opened and the molded part removed. The cycle is complete. Any plastic remaining in the mold is removed with compressed air and the cavity is ready for the next charge. While the press is molding the next part, the operator breaks off the thin layer of overflow called flash. Another example of compression molding. In this case, preforms are preheated in a dielectric heater. This mold is forming eight knobs simultaneously in identical cavities.